baby dolls, look at you! It's not enough to just be in an altcoin. It is not enough to be in a meme. You must be the meme. We are prepared to take this way further and way longer than you can possibly imagine. Soy boys will be mogged. Stable coins, what are you? We are going to crank it. I want crypto at 5 trillion, 10 trillion. I want every candle to be green on the monthly. I want Michael Chad Saylor to regret not owning one of the other meme coins. That's right. I said one of the other meme coins. Michael Chad Saylor owns 1% of the Bitcoin supply. Bitcoin was the first meme. It grew into a cult and now it's a religion. Michael Chad Saylor started buying Bitcoin in 2020 and then began shilling it to the entire world. Bitcoin was $125 billion back then. That's how much market cap it was. Look at the chart here right now. Look at the chart here. We're going to play for you some Pikachu Thunderbolt music, friends. Look at that green arrow. Now... Michael Chad Saylor, friends, why am I using him as an example? The entire game of crypto is what Michael Saylor did. Michael Chad Saylor started buying in 2020 secretly, that's right, secretly on Coinbase with his tiny little limit orders. It was just refreshing infinitely. I remember the exact triangle it was forming. It was literally in this exact same zone right here, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars around there. He told nobody. After he collected a giant position, he told the world, okay? So the entire game of crypto network effects, the adoption of anything, friends, it's to accumulate a position and then tell everyone about it. That is literally the whole game. That's the game of life. Hey, I mean, it's actually pretty cool. You should come in too. That's everything. This is literally the only way you and I can find out about an asset, an opportunity. Now, some of them, go the other way, don't they? But luckily for you, I have provided you this framework of 90% call, 10% lottery for you to at least think about your conviction levels in each thing. If nobody tells you about a bag, you will never have a chance to make a gain. And me too. If I didn't see all friends and family and people around the world yelling about Bitcoin in 2017, it would not have struck my mind to even enter the industry at the end of 2018. So... There is a chance it doesn't work out, of course. So you got to be mindful of your risk exposure. Remember, 90% call, 10% lottery. In the words of the great Satoshi, you remember what Satoshi said on the forum? He goes, you might just want to buy some in case it catches on. That was the speculation spark. This is Pikachu ready to do some battle and combine some friendship. Speaking of chads, shout out to my friend Somi who made this picture. This is insane. Now I've written here, Giga Chads are turbo long on the riskiest sector within the riskiest asset class in mankind ever created right now. That's true. Memes, cults, religions, all these things. And it's, it's a new ocean. It's an entirely new ocean. People are trying to measure all of crypto using the only system they know, which is the stock market world. They're trying to put PE ratios and, and revenue and all these things here, and it's not working. And we have thousands of examples of them not working, and people still aren't getting it. They think, no, we've got to change the tokenomics. We've got to split up the share. We've got to make people get in early, and then we've got to give them revenue. We've got to give them yield. Wrong, 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 double wrong. It's got nothing to do with that. Bitcoin set the standard. You start off as a meme. If you're big enough, if you're strong enough, if you believe enough, you become a cult. And then if you're ready to take it to the next level, you become a religion. All over crypto, there are going to be coins doing what Pika did, friends. This is Pika on Pulse Chain, starting to do that flying McFlying candle. Now, you can wait for a dip. I don't, I don't know what you do at this point. Uh, when it comes to this part of the bull market, friends, 
There are none of these depression prices. They're gone, okay? You had all of 2022 with me. We had all of 2023. And now we've actually had all of 2024, pretty much. You've had like literally three years to get stuff capitulating forever. You don't get that anymore. What you're in now, it's actually the fun part, okay? So dips get eaten faster and dips aren't like 90%. <laughs> dips are like 40, 50, 60%, 70%, but they round off and they continue up. And you have more repetitive green candles. And then this slow succession eventually becomes faster and faster. And it gives the crowd more confidence to try and achieve higher valuations and prices. And that's maybe how we get a Doge 100 billion or a Pepe 100 billion or some meme coin hitting 100 billion. And we have some sort of emphatic muscular pump to the heavens because everybody in the world wants to get in because they're just seeing all this strength. Okay, so we are nowhere near there yet. I want to show you what's going on in the rest of crypto, but first, let us continue the journey, friends. We are going to make it, friends. We're already making it. We're already making it. I don't want your black and white logo. I don't want your little epsilon estrogen thing, okay? There's 10 people in their network, friends, even though they have a $3 billion valuation. There's just 10 people that have all the coins. We don't care about them, Okay. We have all the coins. It's, the distribution is out there with all of everyone else with $10, $20, $50 accounts. They're all the energy. That's the network effect. Look at this. Not everyone gets it though. Here's somebody called Brain Genius. And I'm um, going shout out to you, sir, if you're watching here. This, I'll be honest. I'm just being completely straight with you. If you're in this room, I'll tell you the same thing. I'll tell you, please straighten your back. This is a mid-curve reply. Okay, so he says, Morad is not unlike Ansem. Each failed as a serious investor. Morad blew up his fund. Ansem lasted just a few months in VC. Now, if you remember, friends, Morad's got $24 million long altcoins. I think Ansem has made over $100 million in alts. Okay, Soilana, memes and stuff, okay? Each then came back as a marketing grifter, generating narratives and dumping on followers. These guys are the dregs, but in crypto, they get a pass. Be honest with yourself. If you ask someone at a bar what they do for a living and the answer was pump and dump penny stocks to milk unsophisticated retail investors, what would you think of that person? Because that's precisely the role Ansem and Morad play in this industry. Now, if you wrote that statement in 2013, in 2017, and in 2021, people would pat you on the back and say, thank you for showing us the truth. Unfortunately, we have way more evidence stacked against that statement. Okay. In crypto, that's why, friends, I, I, I've built up to this moment. Yes, I am wearing a giant fluffy Pikachu suit. Yes, I am. But I'm telling you, I don't ask each individual person what they think, what they feel, whatever. I can tell you by the chart. I don't need to ask them. Okay. Instead, what I do is I look at everyone in crypto. I look at how they price things. I look at their ratios. I look at the narratives generated. And I look at what they flock to when the SPI, Bitcoin, starts going up. And what we end up doing is we get this 4D view of what's happening. And we can see that, I mean, it breaks all logic, but meme coins and these hyper speculative risky stuff are attracting more and more people. So it's hyper speculative and risky to people who don't understand. But to us who do understand, it ain't risky at all. It makes perfect sense. In fact, meme coins are less risky because one, everyone knows about them and two, everybody hates them. So one, everyone knows about them. That's all the mind share. And number two, everybody hates them. That tells me they're cheap. You win. Not financial advice, okay, but you win. You win. You know about it. You don't want to buy it. It means it's not cheap enough. It's funny, friends. Remember, in a retailer's mind, they want to buy momentum. They don't buy low. They want to see Pika at 380 million market cap so they can speculate on it going to a billion. Why? Because Pepe just hit 100 billion and Pulse Chain maybe has done 30x from here. You see, that's the world they actually want to play in. It's fast. There's high liquidity. There's a lot of trading. Things move and there's a lot of action. They want that world. Okay. We're building up to that world. But if you wait for that world, you are not guaranteed you actually come out alive. A lot of people get eaten up and then spat out. So I've even written here, the jelly copers will capitulate into cults. Pulse chain future buyers are waiting for higher prices to FOMO in. Yes, that is the truth. They will buy higher prices. Friends. I've seen it time and time again. That's what happens.
Also, baby dolls, let me know if this happened to you. So, Mr. Hotep, I can't watch your videos on YouTube since your Uncle Bobby one. It says they're restricted. Are my videos restricted? Did I make too many type of UFO videos? <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Let me know, friends. Now, remember, the aim of the game is to join strong communities. Pulse Chain was bootstrapped by Hex, the strongest cult in crypto. The whole chain is a neo-religion. The rest of the industry have not woken up to it yet. But sometimes, friends, you still have to keep maybe some lottery tickets around in other chains. Like I'm going to show you now Landwolf on Ethereum to show you how cheap it is. Just so you get an idea of, look, just because you can be convicted on something doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow. It might never happen. It might even happen as much as you want. But when you're flexing this muscle and you're exercising this, you can start to filter out diamonds among the rough, Okay. Look at this. Okay, Landwolf is only 4 million market cap. And look at Pepe, Andy, and Brett. 3.8 billion with a B. 140 million. 900 million. So I've even got a chart here. Look how tiny OG615 Landwolf is. So also there's a trick called Trick Friends. You can go to, you can actually go to Deck Screener here. If you type in Landwolf615, that's all you need to look at. And it brings it up. It's actually really cool. There you go. See, Landwolf615. So... This type of relative value measurement, it's actually how markets price themselves in a bull. So I've got them written here, right? And look at these differences, okay? Look at these big, big differences. Pepe is 950x deviation. Brett is 225x. Andy is 35x. Okay, but there is a, there's more explanations to come. So this obviously, Landwolf 615, they did, the, they did a community takeover, relaunch, because they got rugged three times by the first devs. They survived nine vampire attacks. There's only like four or five million market caps still, right? So it should be way, way, way higher, man. It's the hotbed of innovation, artwork, culture, and all these. Part of the boys club, right? Matt Fury's creation. Look, and here's the thing. I even wrote this. Even in the most myopic case, so if you add up all the land wolves, they're only around 90 million market cap today. So in the worst case, okay, I took the median of Brett, I took the median of Brett and Andy. So I just assume the Landwolf's in the middle. Okay, just average. Worst case, this thing is undervalued six, six X. So based off that, and what's that worst case? It assumes none of the capital rotates among the Landwolf's. They just rise up together. That's pretty good, man. Six X undervalued from today. That's just based off today. Okay, that means the other coins haven't even moved yet. Okay, that's just literally just based off them just standing still. Right? What if they do a 10x from here? Then you're 60x undervalued, okay? So, I mean, that's why I made this chart here. You can take a, take a squeeze at it. Market cap comparison. Look how tiny this is. It's all the way down here. But there is a reason. There is a reason why. And the reason is the market got sick of it, okay? There were extreme vampire attacks on this land wolf. But this is why, friends, you know, the community is the asset. You're investing in a community, not a narrative, okay? Even though, yes, narrative, we have the, the ribbiting. It is very, very powerful to invest in that. But this is a community that survived nine vampire rug attacks, okay? So uh, the community is still powering on. Everyone else vomits out their positions, all this fake fart and stuff going around. Um, but there's just this, this shouldn't be down here, man. I, I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens. I'm just looking at it like, why are you down here? But you, you know why. You know why. People want just one coin. They don't like when everyone's trying to steal off the ID. That's why, friends, I just showed you, right? So Pulse Chain's Blue Ocean. We don't have this. We're not big enough to have this. You saw what happened with Nero. As soon as they made Nero the name, everyone started making Nero coins and they're just all fighting over each other. Extreme red ocean hot competition. So if the market wakes up to the fact that, that's why I made my videos, friends. This OG Landwolf, Landwolf 615, it's the original community takeover, did a relaunch. If the market wakes up to that, they go, oh, wow, this is where the hotbed of innovation is. This is where everyone actually came from. This is 130x away. So that's why I'm like, well, 6x minimum, 130x if it reprices normally. Maybe it doesn't reprice normally. Maybe there's other people, you know, they've got their sunk cost fallacy. They don't want to leave the other ones. Maybe there's a lot of KOLs out there. Still, man, like that's that's, that's juicy. Friends, like people in stock markets, they kill themselves for like a 2x. <laughs> and I've said, okay, worst case, six. So not financial advice, friends, the OG cult. Yeah, you can you can sell your bags, you can do whatever you want. I'm not, I'm just telling you, I'm just I'm just helping you use this. And you don't have to touch this at all. You can use this to price other things if you come across them. You might even price some uh, some of the Pokemon and Poker Center. Maybe you're seeing some hot new stuff come out. Maybe you see there's a lot of uh, 
affiliated memes and culture appearing. And it helps you just get an idea of where things are going. Because remember, friends, our altcoins, we're priced off Bitcoin. So we're all bullish. Why? Because we know, okay, Bitcoin's going to be 100K one day, and then it'll be 200K one day. And Bitcoin goes up. Why? Because it knows, okay, the money printer is going to go up and put the stock market up. You see, everything prices off each other when there's liquidity being injected. But you're not going to make it if you keep trying to trade your bags, friends. Only the holders make it. Okay, this is the P hex to pulse ratio up the top here. This guy doing a giant clip, 40 million hex. He basically sold 20 billion pulse hex to buy 40 million hex. P hex, and that's him moving. He's buying P hex up here. Hope it works out, man. I'm just like, look, just if you inverted that chart, friends, you have a big, 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 deep red candle for PulseX, uh, just showing you how how basically how, how cheap PulseX and Pulse are versus Hex. So it doesn't mean one thing's bad or the other. It just, look, man, you can't, you're not going to win doing this trading stuff. I've just seen everybody. They do it at the wrong times. It's trading all over again. It doesn't matter how, how tight the range is. And I want to show you what type of competition we're up here against, friends. Do you remember, there's, there's a hippo coin called Mudeng, okay? Mudeng, hippo coin, okay, so hippo coin. And look at all these exchange listings it got in one month. Isn't that insane? Look at all these, RainFi, BitFart, uh, Gate.io, BingX, CuckCoin, BuyShit, all of these exchanges. So I've written, look at all those exchanges I showed you, right? The hippo meme. Notice how all of those exchanges, they were given money to be listed immediately. To, how's your coin out for a month? And your friends, they're these coins out. They come out within three days. They get listings because they're given they're given uh, money to the exchange, and the money the exchange uses algos. They're slowly dumping on retail, getting in, not to harm them, but you know. But see the game now. Where's your pulse? Where's your pulse X? Where's your hex? You see, the strongest cult with a fluffy microphone and very straight posture in a Pikachu suit is telling you we are the strongest cult. We don't need a CEX. We don't need you at all. They need us. Keep listing your shitty meme coins. We don't care. In the Pulse Chain community, if it doesn't work for them, they make it work. They build it themselves. Okay, self-reliant. The strongest cult in crypto, Pulse Chain, does not go around bribing exchanges. That's what a cabal does, friends. Why? Because they're looking for OTC order exits straight away. Now, there's nothing wrong with that after, say, six months, one year, one and a half years. There's nothing wrong with that. 30 days, three days. This thing didn't even exist three days ago. Now you just can't wait to get it listed on exchanges and send OTC orders out. You have to learn. If you don't learn, the market will make you learn. Now, baby dolls, I'm going to play some nice journey music. Okay. Soy boys will be mogged. All right. Stable coins, friends, throw them out. Throw them out. It's been three years now. It's been three years. Yeah, 2022, 2023, 2024. Yeah, we can always have a crash down. And I just have to pause to sneeze. <laughs> Look, I have written an emergency, <clears throat> an emergency calendar note here. Warning, sell all your altcoins. It's finished. <clears throat> this is the 2025 year, April. Look at this. In 2012, 16, in 2020, the old season ended exactly 12 months after the Bitcoin happening. March to April 2025 is the end. Maybe another wave comes later. We don't know, but man, we don't know. It's just a fail safe. And you know, I'd say, oh, April's too fast, too fast. No, no. We went from nothing moving besides Doge in Feb 2021. Let's just bring it up right now. Okay, we literally went from nothing is moving, Feb 2021 to the actual altcoin mania top in April, May, just three months later, right here. <clears throat> so here it is. I mean, this, this is crazy. Just in this time, man. So Feb, right here, nothing's moving. Elon buys. Elon bought Bitcoin here, friends, just to let you know. So nothing's moving altcoins wise. And then it is literally all over in 70 to, here you go, 90 to 100 days. It's actually here. So just to let you know, Bitcoin at top tier, but this was a big, big, big burst of altcoins. And then it came down here and this was the final burst. So that's what happened. Bitcoin made that little lower high. Altcoins made the final rush up. That's where like come rocket went 400 million market cap. Elon Musk shielded. I talked about it. That's where Doge does its final big uh, explosion to the moon. That's when you have the XRP. There were pump groups going on, all the laser eyes. Everyone was going wild, man. What a time. Now, 
A Sommy video wouldn't be complete with some very highly uncomfortable viewing. So thank you to whoever made this. I don't know where you got it from. I don't know how you got it, but let's just let everyone watch and see. I'm gonna have to mute this. Play some nice Pikachu music. I wanna be the very best that no one ever was. And there are some, there are some. I, I don't even have words for what we just saw. I didn't even know it was possible. Okay, eating cereal from a girl's armpit. Well, you know, whatever floats your boat. Remember, friends, we are in digital cyberspace. Okay, you can't point a gun at somebody and tell them, "How are you?" Uh, follow me, join me. Here's attention, right? We live in an attention economy. What I like doing out in the world is I got to use myself as a proxy. I'm walking around and I'm like, why is that catching my attention? Why do I keep looking at that? Even though I don't like it. So this type of weird stuff, I mean, it is crazy. I mean, who's a thought? Eating, eating cereal out of girl's armpits. It's a crazy world. But it works, man. It works. This is how marketing geniuses work, friends. They go and grab stuff that just grabs people's attention and people don't even know that they're getting rolled up and they're being tricked the whole time. See, I'm, I'm wondering one day if in Pulse Chain, let's say we wanted to get someone really big their name, get their attention. Imagine you just slap their head onto that. <laughs> oh, man. Think about all, friends, I get, get spammed videos, messages all day. And a lot of them are fun. But for some reason, that one, I was just like, what is going on? What is going on? I'm coming back to pump hard. As we await the US election. Okay, coming on November 5th. Just remember, as we move through this Bitcoin cycle, friends, I've made all the videos. You had a tech discovery in 2012, 2016, and 2020. We've gone through this, and now we've just had 2024 play out, and something happened. Okay, meme coins outperformed everything. Will meme coins come, and get, come about next year? Will they? I don't know. Like... I'm wearing a Pikachu suit. I'm just using myself, friends, being honest. I'm wearing a Pikachu suit right now for you, okay, and me, all of us. Um, I'm not wearing an Igon layer suit. I'm not wearing a Molestia shirt, you know. I'm not wearing a hat from Layer Zero, you see. Think about it. I'm wearing a freaking Pikachu suit. I'm not posting memes about their trash. They don't even have memes, by the way. We've got to use ourselves as a proxy. And that's probably the secret to every single crypto cycle. I wasn't around for all of them except the 2020 halvening. But you can figure it out now. You're like, oh, you've got to figure out what everyone's reacting to and leverage it. But people are still mid-curving it, friends. You know, Hex and Bitcoin, friends, very similar. Richard Hart modeled Hex after Bitcoin. You know, it's funny. Just so you... Richard Hart... He is. He was so ahead of his time that his altcoin of Hex, he was modeling Bitcoin while the whole industry was modeling Ethereum. And what I mean by that, Bitcoin store of value, low, velo low velocity, not meant to be traded. Ethereum is a utility token, okay? So people, because it's a mid-curve trap, people saw Ethereum being required to pay for gas. So they said, oh, I want my coin to be needed. Okay, because that's that's the uh, fence. Let me put it to you like this. You know how there are some men out there, ladies, you will relate as well. Uh, there are some men out there, they'll try to coerce a woman into loving them. They might give them money. They might try to get the lady to require money from the guy. So in his mind, he's like, oh, I'm always going to have her because she always needs to come to me for money. But actually what happens is it's always the same story, right? The girl doesn't end up really loving the guy. It's a contractual relationship, yes. Well, you can actually apply that in crypto. You see, when it comes to Ethereum or DeFi utility coins, what these app creators and coin founders are trying to do is they're not trying to get you to love their coin. They're trying to get you to need their coin, even when you don't like it, because they think that even if you, if you just need it all the time, its value will go up. 
wrong. Okay. The best thing to do is to follow what works in the real world. Bitcoin, Louis Vuitton bags, luxury items. Okay. A lot of these friends, they focus on getting the consumer to want to be with the product. Now in crypto, the community is actually the product. That's the asset. Okay. So all these token founders, they should be spending 10 times more effort on making the community worth staying and worth believing in and less effort on the actual code tech stuff. So that's actually what Richard Hart was doing. Okay. Hex was a finished product. He spent no time talking about or improving the Hex code. He spent all of 2020, all of 2021, 2022 promoting Hex community, didn't he? Didn't he? You see that, friends? So I'm opening your mind here as to what's going on because that's actually what's working. It's not my theories. No, no, no. It's observational. I'm like, oh, wow, this is what's actually what's happening. Okay. So that, now you have a path forward to actually like look at these things differently. You go, oh, a meme coin. Is it a meme coin or is it just a community focused on making more friends? And when people make friends, they join the club. All right. A tech coin and a utility coin. Is it a utility coin or is it a community lacking application protocol that's focused on improving code and not improving people wanting to be there? You see, now you've got a filter to look at these different coins. When I'm here 18 hours a day, we've already figured it out, but I'm just helping, helping you get smart. Look at these friends. Hex started as a meme. Did you miss Bitcoin? Hex was designed to do 10,000 X. See, everyone's starting on the wrong page. Hex started as a meme. Bitcoin started as a meme. The thing was done already. You see, just like meme coins, they're done already. Right? The magic is the community. The magic's not the code. Right? So remember, Hex, did you miss Bitcoin? This is designed to do 10,000 X. Just a meme. Just a freaking meme. And then what did it move into? Look, Hex evolved into a cult. Stake long term to make it. The believers get rewarded the most. And finally, it evolves into a pulse chain religion. You have pulse chain is real DeFi. Pulse chain is free speech. Pulse chain is freedom of movement. You see that? That is the mantra of the 250,000 people in the community. And they just cheer it over and over and over again. It's from the US Constitution. That's why, friends, it's very easy for me to imagine two and a half million people in Pulse Chain, which is 10x the user base, which is 100x the price growth. Why? Because the US Constitution is being spammed into every US kid's head when they go to school. The US Constitution, free speech, the right to bear arms, okay? The right to use a health potion when you're low on health. The right to level up your Pikachu. All of these mantras being repeated out there, it resonates with them. They know it. People know it. Was it intentional? I don't know. Does Richard Hart just naturally believe it? Is it just, who cares? It's the universe combining this. That's why I can see it. I can see it. Can you see it? That's why I really do believe. I'm coming back to pump hard. Non-believers will be mogged, friends. As I said, they will be mogged real hard, especially if this doesn't collapse to zero tomorrow, as they've been waiting for. They've been waiting for a long time, man. Because right now, the community is starting to power up. With every green monthly candle, the voices will get louder. Their biceps will flex harder. The chairs will get squeakier. The engagement will power through the roof. There will be more likes, more retweets, more reshares, more content videos, just literally spammed out. It's literally just flooding all of crypto. It'll be the biggest uproar of all time. And the best part is there's a freaking ecosystem of coins. Do you like a Tropa? Do you like Tangang? Do you like Hexibastard coins? Okay. Do you like the Poker Center stuff? Like Pokemon? All of these are here, friends. And it's literally under the umbrella of this. There's no Cabal yet. We're not going to get this opportunity in the next bear market, by the way, because if we win, you don't just win a little bit. You win the whole way. Everyone sees your value. You're going to be cabal ridden in the next bear market. But hopefully you are 25 times wealthier than you are today. This is your friend Sami. Catch you in the next one.